Hello. So this is my new idea, is that instead of doing the um, traditional way I do my show, I'm just going to do a companion where I explain the comics to David while he's at work and he gets angry about it. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Are you listening to uh, Four Non Blondes? Yeah, this is my wake-up playlist. Oh, that's a good wake-up playlist, man. I'm a... Oh, God. Oh, it's so awful. Oh, is it really busy right now? Oh, I, I really think we should just shut it down for until noon. This is already just... Well, I mean, whatever. F*** it. So yeah, last week you had Amazing Spider-Man 43, and that was uh, Spider-Man trying to save this little creature. Well, it's actually a huge creature when he first meets it. It's like two stories tall. And uh-huh. him and Boomerang try to save it, end up destroying two helicopters into a tank. Oh, that's... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's where my joke about Frank the Tank came from. Or not Frank, Frank it was Hank Frank the, the Tank. Frank the Tank? Hank the Tank. Hank Tank, Hank Tank. Yeah, the idea was that no matter what happened to New York City, this one tank always came out okay. And finally it got destroyed by Spider-Man. And now the city mourns. And the city mourns its lost hero. And at the end, Spider-Man gets a new pet. 2019 and 2020 are a great year for Marvel pets. And then uh, after that, you had Avengers 33. That's just Moon Knight beats up everyone. Moon Knight beats up everybody. Yeah, everyone. And then he's done something horrifying to the moon. And I don't know if it's the same horrifying thing that's happening in Agents of Wakanda. Uh Or maybe two things have happened to the moon lately. And also, there's the explosion on the moon because of the Doctor Doom book. Did, okay. did you read Marauders Ten? No, I haven't read any comics. Before. So you read Marauders Nine? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and like, where is my Red Queen? Where? Well, in this new one. Okay. It's a uh, assault on that group of Russians that have anti-power technology. Right. And then uh, the the mutants just take them, put them inside a UFO that the White Queen owns. It looks like a cliche UFO, and then she dumps them all out in Russia. So oh, it's nice. yeah, it's a it's a UFO hoax in a world where aliens are real. So the last comic was Venom 25. And it was just a clip show. It was just like, hey, this is what happened in the other 24 comics. And Eddie Brock told a sad story. Tonight, a mournful nation says goodbye to a favorite son of the city, Hank the Tank. Having served the city through countless emergencies and always surviving, but he has finally fallen. Spider-Man slammed two helicopters into the top of it. We thought perhaps some of it could be salvaged, but it looks like it has been completely destroyed. There is a mystery. A UFO flew over Russia and dropped the nation's sailors out of it, we have a crackpot in the studio arguing that this is an alien hoax. We all know that aliens exist, and our planet is part galactic third world, and also part most important place ever. But our guest is arguing that the UFO event in Russia was just a hoax to make it look like aliens. Boy, I know I sound crazy, but suspect the event in Russia was made to look like aliens. An alien hoax, if you will. First off, it was so cliche and probably has something to do with whatever's wrong with the moon. Yes, the moon is disturbing.
Uh, but do you have any more evidence? Not yet, because the Russian military refuses to answer my emails about sending over their medical records and passing my questions along to their soldiers about being probed. Well, good luck in your quest. Well, thank you, and let me just say, I'll never forget the first time my daddy brought me to meet Hank the Tank. Yeah, that tank will be missed. We also have a statement tonight from your local pest control experts. They're upset by the constant calls to have them come and deal with things that they feel is out of their wheelhouse. The statement reads, The news today about the giant monster who then became a small monster is a great example that highlights the problem our industry has. We don't catch that. A lot of people call today to have professionals come out and capture this monster that was two stories high. How? How are we supposed to catch that? Uh, top of my head, I would maybe make a large lasso that it could uh, step on after I've lured it there, possibly by putting food on top of a car. Then it would hopefully trip and be knocked out like the resolution of a G-rated action scene. Look, we take care of bugs and small rodents. If it's a dog or a cat, call your local dog catcher. The dog catcher who I assume shares this sentiment. We cannot help you with spirits, aliens, robots, demons, extra-dimensional beings, whatever that thing Spider-Man just caught in a truck was. Don't call us. Call the police. Because we do not catch that. Whatever that means. And I